can't believe they did a palette with Dirty Dancing! Ugh. Hey guys, I'm Jess, and today on Vpop, I've got a little tutorial using the new Dirty Dancing palette from Solo Look. I am super excited about this palette in general because I'm a huge Dirty Dancing fan. And there's some awesome colors in here, so I'm going to show you a look I came up with um, a while ago. It was actually the first look I did with this palette because purple! because purple. I love purple, and purple is, I think, one of the hardest colors for the cosmetic companies to get on point, and they have got it on point. So I'm going to use purples in this look, and I hope you guys will like it. And I pretty much have my whole face done, my eyebrows, everything are done. I already primed my lids and curled my lashes. I need to put on blush, so I'm gonna use um, the highlighter from this palette as well. And I'm going to put on the liquid lipstick. So let's get started. Zoom in to my face. Like I said, I already have on my brows, my foundation, everything, my bronzer. I do need to put on a cheek color. And I'm going to use the highlighter that comes in this palette that's really, really, really pretty. So I'm going to use this Wet n Wild Color Icon Ombre Blush in the Princess Stackeries. This is what it looks like. It's a really cool gradient color. And it also has almost like a peachish peach color going on here. It's a very light blush in general. So I'm just going to use my e.l.f. blush brush and I'm going to apply that to my cheeks. It's a very faint like wash of color and it looks really great with this highlight because the highlight is more of a peachy pink color. So now, look at it, look how pretty it is. I can't even, and the lift is on the back. I, I love Dirty Dancing so much. Here in the middle, right there, meringue, is the highlighter, and it's really, really, really pretty. So I'm going to use that on my cheeks, and I am just going to use a blending brush from um, BH Cosmetics. It's really big, so I like to use it for highlighting. I'm just gonna take some meringue on my brush, tap off, and highlight. Like, do you see that? I hope you see it. Do you see it? Like comparison, I hope it's coming through on camera because it's just so pretty. And it's also really, really pretty as an eyeshadow too because I've used it that way as well. I've really been using this palette a lot lately. The only color I haven't used is I Care to Watermelon just because it's like kind of really bright and I'm a little scared of it. But I'm sure I'll use it eventually. I just haven't figured out with what colors I'm going to use it. Now that my cheeks are done, there's highlight going on, I am gonna go into Back to the Playpen. It's this gorgeous light blue gray color. It's pretty matte, like it's mattish. I just see a little glimmer of something in there. But when you apply it to the eye, it definitely looks matte. And I'm just going to use a blending brush as soon as I find one. Sorry if I'm like, I sound super congested. I do have a cold or allergies or something going on and I get out of breath like really quickly and it's kind of sad. Just like that. <laughs> so I'm using this Up and Up blending brush from Target. Um, I don't think they have this anymore, but I freaking love this brush. So I'm just gonna put that in playpen or back to the playpen. Remember to tap off. And I'm just gonna focus that on the outer corner of the eye into the crease. And this, this is gonna be like my transition color because there isn't really a transition color in the palette. It's really um, what's that word I'm looking for? It's really buildable. There we go. The color is really buildable. 
I couldn't think of the word buildable. And now I've got that kind of how I want it. I'm going to also drop it down to my lower lash line. So it kind of connects. And now I'm going to go in with an e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. Um, this is from one of the palettes I've gotten. And I'm going to go in with Cha Cha which is this amazing purple right here. So beautiful. It also has a matte look to it when applied to the eye. And I'm just gonna put that all over my lid. I'm just kind of following the natural crease of my eye and kind of lining it out. And see how awesome that purple is? Doesn't it just like in your face? So I have a pretty harsh little line going on right here on the inner corner of my eye. So I'm just going to take one of these e.l.f. blending brushes and I'm just going to kind of buffer that out. So it's not as like harsh looking. And I don't have anything on the brush right now. And now I'm going to line my lower lash line with this Marc Jacobs pencil. It's black, black. So I'm just going to do that. Moving in the mirror. My eyes are super watery, so I don't know how this is gonna go. Yep, my eyes are watering so much right now. It must be stupid allergies. Like I can't even get this on because it's just like waterfall up in there. Oh my god. Please stick to my lower lash line. Waterline. You can do it! Come on. I got it. Yay. Yay! I'm just gonna take a smudger brush and blend out that black. This is from Real Techniques. It's from the eye set. It's actually the smudger brush, I think. That's what it's called. No, accent brush. Fail! And I'm also going to go back into Cha Cha, which is the purple, and I'm using the same brush, and I'm just going to put it in my lower lash line here. I'm kind of dabbing it on so it like packs it on. It's also sticking to that liner as well. And I'm focusing it on the outer edge of my eye, like the outer half of my eye. I'm not going like all the way in. Pretty! I encourage myself while I'm doing my makeup. Like, yeah, that looks good. Good job. You did it. <laughs> now I'm just using another little smudge brush. I think this is from e.l.f. It's called the Small Precision Brush. And I'm going into Meringue once again. Right there. And I'm going to use that for the inner corner. And to highlight my brow bone, I'm going to use Mary Luminizer from the Balm. It's one of my favorite highlighters. I hit pan. So I'm just going to use a fluffy brush here. And get my highlight on. Yeah. For eyeshadow, pretty much done. And it looks pretty awesome already. I love purple with hazel eyes. It looks good. So I'm going to use some eyeliner and mascara to finish this look off. Oh yeah, and I gotta do my lip. I always forget that part because I normally don't do it because I don't think like it looks good on me. I don't know, I'm weird. But I'm going to use this one in here so you guys can see what it looks like and the color and all that fun stuff and plus I did want to try it out and see how it like lasts and stuff we will see but to line my eyes I'm using Kat Von D's tattoo eyeliner in Trooper Kat Von D so I'm just gonna do that real quick here
And then for mascara, I'm going in with NYC Big Bold Volume by The Lash. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm going to do my top and lower lash line with lots of mascara. And like I said, I already curled my lashes. So that's done. Let it dry. Oh, I always get it on my makeup. Some way, somehow. Always. Good thing with this stuff, it, you can just like flake it off wherever you like mess up. So, it's nice. So I might as well put this on and let it dry while I'm doing the other half of my eye here. Makeup makes a big difference when you look at it sometimes like this. Like, whoa, my eyes look way more intense right now and I like it. So I'm going to pop on this liquid lipstick. I believe it's a liquid lipstick, isn't it? Let me see if it says on here. I haven't used this yet. Yeah, it's a liquid matte lipstick and this is what it looks like. The shade is called Baby. It just, it looks like a really pretty mauve color. Whoa, the applicator's kind of weird. It kind of has a weird smell to it, not gonna lie. This is what, the applicator's just like really long and narrow. Let's see if I can put this on my face. I feel like I have like the smallest lips known to man. This is really dark, like way darker than I anticipated. Liquid lipstick and I sometimes get it on, sometimes we don't, and this applicator is not helping anything. That is really dark. I feel like my lips are so small anyways, but this made it look even smaller. But I'm gonna keep it on, see how it dries, and then I'll let you guys know, and I'm gonna go do my other eye, and I'll be back. I look super vampy with this lip, and I'm kinda digging it. Look at it, it's so purple. I don't think it's showing up like as insanely purple as it is in real life because in real life it looks a lot more purple, but I just love how purple like brings out the green in my eyes instead of the brown because I have hazel eyes. The first time I did it, I didn't have anything on my lips, but then I also thought, oh, a really pretty light pink color would look very springy and summery, and this kind of just took it to a more like, <sighs> and I like it, it's like fierce, but definitely it leveled it up. It is like, it didn't transfer on my lips. It's really, really dry. It shows, like, I'm not a huge fan of, like, liquid lipsticks anyways because it shows every single crack my lip. Here, let me zoom you in. Okay. See, it kind of shows, like, every crack in there. And look at this. Like, this is way lighter than what it looks like on my lips. But yeah, I just really wanted to try out this and see what it looked like because I haven't given it a go yet. So if you guys would like to see any other tutorials um, using this palette, because I did do a few other looks using it, please let me know in the comments below. I really want to find out a way to use this I Carried a Watermelon color because it's like really, really red and sparkly. So I think I'm going to maybe play with that and see what I come up with. And if you guys would like to see that, make sure and leave me a comment down below. And also, if you have any other video suggestions, please leave me a comment down below. That would be amazing. And if you haven't already, make sure and hit that little bell down below so you're notified every single time I upload a new video. And if you're not friends with me, be friends with me on social media right here. And check back every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday for new videos and and yeah and click that link below to subscribe and also I will put 
the link to this palette down below in the description box as well as everything I've used on my face today in this video. So yeah, I'll show you where you can buy this awesome Dirty Dancing palette. Dirty Dancing. I can't believe they did a palette with Dirty Dancing. Ugh. I love it. Okay. Bye guys.